National Broadcasting Company presents Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kukla Partisan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. I don't really know because, well, I, well, no, he hasn't come back yet. And it, well, well, no, she doesn't come back till the weekend. Well, I don't, I don't know, madam, what you saw in the show. Bob and Kay show, you say? You're in Chicago? Uh-huh. Well, I haven't talked. Well, I don't know. There was some talk of it. He put his hat in the ring, and yes, but I don't know whether he... Well, I don't know. This is Cooper. I don't have much to say about it because that's his own business. Who? Well, Tilstrom? Well, he's just a stagehand here. Oh. Well, if he's going to be campaign manager, I suppose that... Would you hold on just a moment, please, ma'am? Could you just one second, please? George, I... Mm-hmm. Well, uh, you'll have to get... No, you'll have... To, well, naturally, if he if he gets... If he, uh, if he is in on the candidacy, naturally, if you get the phone... Yes. Yeah. You should get here. That's all. Hello? Hmm? Who? That was the father. Well, we don't know whether Ollie's running or not. He just threw his hat in the ring. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who is it? It's someone calling... Democratic Party. Mm-hmm. Well, naturally, I know it'll make a great difference to all you folks. Well, he, uh, he, uh, mm-hmm. Well, uh, you'll have to call back, George. We have no information yet, but I just, just be a constituent, and we'll all hang together. Heavens, I've got to get back to the guppy. Uh, Fletch! Oh. Yes? Uh, I tell you, you'll have to check on the newspapers, because I'm not sure whether or not he's going to... Yeah, you bet. Yes. Yes, this is Oliver J. Dragon's... Well, no, this is not his office. No, well, Beulah Witch is handling his campaign. She's grooming him. Mm. And he's not in yet. I'm sorry. You won't be able to talk to him. No, I'm terribly sorry. Well, we'll let you know. It will naturally... Well, it's a dragon party, I think. I don't know. I really don't know. Honestly, if he... he just... Please. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll let you know. Yeah, well, of course, you bet. Goodbye. Can't you pull the phones out or something for a while? Well, perhaps I can work it on the switchboard down here. Beulah, why in the world don't you get that switchboard fixed? I'm trying to fix the plugs now. Heaven's sake. My, I didn't know things were going to start so fast and furiously. Jack, what's all this about? Courtney Snyder, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, well, who's, who's that? Uh, uh, Hugh Downs wants to see you. Our announcer? Yes, he wants to see you for a minute. Oh, well, I don't know what for. Well, he says he has an appointment. Well, he doesn't have a point with me. I'm cleaning house, get ready for friends, coming home. Well, you better see him. He seems very anxious. Okay. Hugh, come on in. Sorry. Thank you, Cookley. Sorry you caught me like this, I'm 
I appreciate it. Don't want to take too much of your time, but I did want you well, to check me busy. on one thing. Yeah. Well, uh, just see how this sounds, if you would, would you please? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. And that wasn't just right. <clears throat> Wait a minute. What, this is an audition? Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Uh, did that sound decent? That's enough? very nice. Is it an audition? You going to Washington? Well, not right now. No, I thought you knew. I'm, I've uh, been promised the job of presidential announcer, if and when. And By you might say when. Ollie. Ollie? Ollie is going to run for president. Well, he hasn't told me a thing about this. The phones have been ringing. Excuse me, you. Hello? Well, I don't know. No. Well, if anybody gets a job, Hugh Downs will get it because he's auditioning. Well, I don't really know. I'm terribly sorry. Yes. All righty. What? No. Sorry, you. It's well, just that the phone's been ringing, and I'm just, just about beside myself. I haven't seen Ollie all day, and Fran's not here, and I'm pretty upset about the whole thing. Well, That's I can all. understand that. But I, I, I think this is going a little too far, Hugh. He, he doesn't even know. He doesn't even know that he's going to be nominated or anything. I mean, he just, he's just a, decided to be a candidate, and I don't know anything about it. Well, I don't know. I know he made a very nice promise to me, and I'm going to hold him to it if I can. Did, uh, did that sound, did it have the proper dignity that you think it ought to have, you know, for a, a job like this? It ought to be right, I well, think. Hugh, if you do it, I'm sure you'll do a good job, but I wouldn't count on it. Oh, Stick with KFO a little bit longer, will you? Well, I will certainly do that, but okay. I just want to be ready, you know, well, when the time comes. I'll, I'll tell him, you know, when he comes in, I'll tell him that you, you were here and everything. Would you? Yeah, I will. Thank you very much. Peter. Right, Hugh. Where is that character? Honestly, he's not here! Oh, and he calls for me? Oh, gracious sakes, honestly. What a terrific program. I've just been everywhere speaking of Hello, Jack. Hi, Ollie. You got any of my campaign songs ready or anything? I'm working on one. Well, be sure that you get them ready because we've got to hop to it, you know. Oh, everybody's for me, you know. That's what I hear. Well, they really have urged me to do it, and I feel that if that's uh, what the public wants, that's what I'm going to give them. Far be it from me to deprive the public of a great hero and a national figurehead. That's what I always feel. Oh, Cook, has that call come from Washington yet? Which call from Washington? From Harry. Oh, Ollie, now just take it easy. Well, well, that's the prime way to speak to your future president. Oh, future president indeed. Hmm. Hoity-toity, Master Perch, what seems to be your trouble? Let's be calm and cool. I've been calm and cool just about as long as I can stand it. You're just overbearing and running around here. Do you think you're even going to appeal to anybody? I won the television forecast award for a singer. Third place? Well, that's all right. Third place is better than no place at all. You have to just be like this and carry on in front of everybody? You think you're going to win any votes or any any public support this way? My constituents will be behind me. You'll need more than your constituents. Oh, will I? Will I? Will I? Yes, will you, will you, will you? Don't raise your voice to me. After all, <laughs> you might want a job as postmaster in some uh, small town, some obscure small town somewhere. Oh, my heart. Well, if I want a job as postmaster, I won't be asking you. You could just run this whole thing. I wish Fran were. I wish she were, too. She'd put you in your place. Well, I'm in my place, and I'll just stay there. You can run this entire thing all by yourself, as far as I'm concerned, because I don't want any more to do with it. You can have the show, and you can have Jacks, and you can have you Dolls. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Ha! <laughs> Well, ha to you, Master Pert. He doesn't mean it. He's just temperamental, you know. He's probably a little upset because, after all, I, uh, you know, I'm a little more popular than he is, and he, uh, he didn't, uh, he didn't get as many uh, votes of confidence. You know how that is, Jack. You know. He didn't ask me. Jack, you know. How oh, things were very hectic before you came. In. Oh, were they really? Well, I know how it is, but you've got to expect that, you know. If you're going to have a public figure in the family, you can't expect to live a private life anymore. <laughs> no, sir, Bob. <laughs> no, sir. Well, it doesn't really matter because he... Where are you going? 
I'm going out! You don't shout at me. I'm going to shout at you and you're going to leave me. You won't leave me. Me, are you? I just might. I'm pretty fed up. I'm your old pal. You were my old pal. You're on my old pill right now. Yeah. Don't sulk. I'm not sulking. Stop it. Stop. <coughs> you get me? I might. Gonna wish me well, wish me luck. I don't know. I wish you something else, maybe. What? Velvet, I can wish you for the color of your coat and fortune smiling. To wish you find your love, your own true love, this day. Mansion, I can wish you seven footmen all in red and calling cards upon a silver tray. But more I cannot wish you than to wish you. of Kukla, Fran, and Ollie is Jack Fashionato. The producer is Beulah Zachary. The director is Louis Gomovitz. The costume designer is Joseph Lockwood. And the technical director is John Natalie. And this is Bert Hilstrom. Good night, Kukla. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie was brought to you from Chicago by the National Broadcasting Company. NBC Television. <laughs>